That's really too much, he said. Volodymyr Groisman, Reuters Ukrainian Prime Minister Volodymyr Groisman has appealed to the supervisory board of the national joint stock company Neftogaz of Ukraine to review the recent decision to pay $46.3 million remuneration to its employees due to the company's victory over Russia's Gazprom in the Stockholm arbitration. Read Alsa Gazprom's Dutch assets to be seized to secure $2.60 BLN settlement with Naftogas. The government did not make any decision on remuneration. Naftogas is a company run by an independent supervisory board. This issue is the competence of independent councils rather than the government. I was also concerned about this decision. Therefore, I sent an official letter to the Independent Supervisory Board so that they review their decision and inform the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine, he said during AQ. Although, we must admit that Naftogas of Ukraine and its management have achieved a serious victory in defending Ukraine's interests worth $4.5 billion, Groisman added, I emphasize, my position is clear, that's really too much, he summed up. As UNIAN reported earlier, the Neftogas Supervisory Board decided to pay $46.3 million remuneration to its employees due to a victory at the Arbitration Institute of the Stockholm Chamber of Commerce in a dispute with Russia's gas monopoly Gazprom over a transit contract. If you see a spelling error on our site, select it and press Control Enter. Latest news 1420 FIFA excludes Russian singer who backed Ukraine rebels, media 1356 Ukraine's foreign ministry, Baluk's life under threat. 1332 Canada, to increase assistance to Ukraine, Canada's Defense Minister 1151 Turkish FM, Turkey not to recognize annexation of Crimea 1113 Ukrainian activist Kolchenko stops hunger strike in Russian prison 1012 US. Calls on Russia to withdraw its forces from Don Bay 924 escalation in Don Bay, Ukraine reports 4 WIAs amid 37 enemy attacks 855 NBU weakens official forex rate to 26 Ukrainian hryvnias and 17 kopaikas to $2330 IMF comments on finance ministers dismissal in Ukraine 2310 Russia starts massively transporting coal from occupied Don Bay, MP2150 over half of Ukrainians have no trust in banks, study 2130 Ukraine's NSDC Secretary Turchinov defies Putin's threats over Don Bay 2110 Oksana Markarova appointed Ukraine's acting finance minister 2030 Ukraine boosts electricity exports by 25% in January to May 1950 Ukraine may introduce old age tax on used cars imports 1910 Sweden approves Nord Stream 2 application 1830 Putin comments on possibility of sense of swap 1750 opinion military exercises in Crimea what is Russia preparing for 1652 ex Shakhtar Donetsk striker Ferreira signs deal with Benfica 1601 U.S. Assistant Secretary, Ukraine and Georgia part of the West 1517 Cyprus Court and freezes assets of Akhmedov's SCM 1455 Ukraine's Parliament Sachs Finance Minister 1436 of Chenko sues Ukraine's Parliament 1408 Ukraine's Parliament eventually passes law on anti-corruption court 1340 sales of new cars in Ukraine grow by 10% in January to May 1315 Kira Muratova, renowned Ukrainian filmmaker, dies at 83 1254 National Bank transfers almost 600 $150 MLN to state budget in May 1232 Russia changes tactics of war in Donbay, Turchinov 1117 Britain calls on Russia to release Ukrainian political prisoners 1056 OSCE Records over 170 explosions in Donbay within one day 1010 Pen America demands sense of immediate release 948 Australia's Grain Corp opens firm in Ukraine, registry 2317 NBU weakens official forex rate to 26 Ukrainian hryvnias and 16 kopaikas to dollar 2015 revenues of local budgets across Ukraine rise 24% in January to May 1830 Rada's Budget Committee backs dismissal of Finance Minister 1750 Poroshenko, Donbay seeing hot phase of war not, frozen conflict, 1640 Ukraine's NEURC elects new chairperson 1500 Vietnam resumes wheat imports from Ukraine 1420 Russia starts large-scale military drills in occupied Crimea 1340 US. 
pushes NATO to ready more forces to deter Russian threat 1.20 p.m. Groisman asks Rada to fire Finance Minister 12.20 Lawyer, Sentsov, on the brink, compulsory feeding may start soon 12 o'clock Ukraine's envoy to UN elected Vice President of 73rd General Assembly 11.40 Russia's Troll Factory launches new website targeting Americans.